That's it. It's done. I've removed my chip. You've made a smart decision, Gregor. I hope so, Captain. I hope so. From what the lieutenant tells me, they seem to be in pretty good shape down there. We just have to finish them off, and it'll be a clean victory. How inconsiderate of them, killing all the droids before I get there. Yeah, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. There's still a fight to be had. We're landing right in the middle of the battle. When we get there, we should split up to cover more ground. We won't be even, though. We have a guest today, remember? You're throwing off the whole balance, General Tarallo. We usually don't have the honor to work with Jedi. <laughs> the honor is all mine, Commando. And I'd hate to mess with your system. In that case, General, you go with Heater and Flare. Besides, they could use some supervision. Hey! No, Heater, it's fine. This'll be the perfect chance to teach this kid how to really kill droids. <laughs> I'll do my best to keep up. We're approaching the ground. Lock and load, boys. May the Force be with us! This seems almost too easy. Don't speak too soon. This is all that's left, Lieutenant? Indeed so, General. That AAT is their last main vehicle. Ha! Piece of cake. You're gonna use your canister? What, this one? Not a chance. I'm saving it for something special. That little thing doesn't deserve it. Well, as long as it blows up, I'll be happy. We think alike, General. <laughs> Beta Squad Execute Order 66 It will be done, my lord Oh no Wait, what? No! Detonation imminent. Explosive detected. Run away. Run away. Run away. What did you do? Followed orders, Captain. What orders? The Chancellors just came through now. You were over there, so we carried them out for you. Don't drag us into this. You two just murdered a Jedi in cold blood, and you said you were following orders? Good soldiers follow orders, 2 5. Why did you just call me by my numbers? You never do that. So you're telling me you would not have followed the orders if you were near us? Whatever orders you claim to have heard, I certainly would not have followed. Scout, you may want to watch what you say. Well, if that's the case, we'll have to place you both under arrest for treason against the Galactic Republic. You've got to be kidding me. Ah. Let's go! Gregor, what is happening? I'll explain later, but if anything happens to me, you must contact Rex immediately. Look out! Get up, Gregor! Get up! They fell down this way. Okay, come on, come on. No traces of them anywhere. There's no way they survived that explosion. Nothing can. We should do a perimeter check. Not necessary. Let's head back to the battalion. <clears throat> Gregor, are you alright? Th 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 that must have been what the chip was for. What chip? S scout what why didn't you follow the orders? Don't you have a chip in your brain, too? What are you talking about? The chip, silly. Good soldiers follow orders. Good soldiers follow orders. Good soldiers I'm sorry, follow boss, orders. but this is for good your own good. I'm going to stun you back to sleep. S stun? Well, <laughs> sweet dreams, then. <sighs> what to do now?
Scout, is that you? General David, what's going on? I was hoping you would call. I had the same question for you. What happened there? I just witnessed Flair and Heater intentionally murder a Jedi. We got a mysterious comm call, and the next thing I know, they shot him. General Crix Tarallo. Dead. Because of some orders. That must have been it then. What must have been it? The big secret they've been keeping. I knew something was up. Gregor just got hit in the head, but he keeps saying something about a chip. What is he talking about? The inhibitor chip. The Kaminoans put them into the clones' heads to make them more obedient. It makes them follow orders without much questioning. Gregor did mention something about that a long time ago. Gosh, I should have paid more attention. So this chip made Heater and Flare kill a Jedi? And why weren't Gregor and I affected? Gregor must have removed his chip. But, Scout, you don't have one. I'm so confused. The Kaminoans did something highly dishonest, highly treasonous. When they got the order for the clone army, they made a small, secret group of clones without inhibitor chips. Supposed to be secret weapons, more efficient or something. Unaltered, pure clones. Besides the growth acceleration. Correct. When I became a general on Kamino, I found this information and brought it to the Kaminoans, but they threatened me with my life, so I kept my mouth shut. I never knew we would get into this mess. Are there any other clones from this unaltered group still out there? I was in that group too. According to the records, everyone else has been killed in battle. We're the only two left. The former leader of Rose Squad, 9-7, he was one of us too before he died. This is a lot to take in. Well, the Republic thinks I'm dead, and I don't know what to do right now. What are you going to do? I'm going to try to get off of Camino and stay out of sight for a while. I'll bring a comm in case you need to contact me. For now, though, I guess this is farewell. Farewell, General. And thanks. Be careful, soldier. What now? Oh, right, Rex. Gregor, is that you? Gregor's unconscious. This is Beta 25. He told me to contact you if something happened to him. Wait, you removed your chip too? Apparently, I don't have one. I just spoke with General David. Strange. Well, we shouldn't spend too much time on the comm. I'll send you my coordinates, and if this is a trap, you'll pay with your life. Understandable. Now let's see if I can find a way off this rock. This'll do. Are you carrying any weapons? No, sir. I know this almost be scary for you, Commando, but you must understand why I'm being precautionary. I understand perfectly, sir. Ever since what happened with Fives, I've had a hard time trusting anyone. Ever since this happened with my squad mates, I feel the same way. Now as long as we can trust each other, I'm sure we'll be okay. I agree, sir. Gregor contacted me first asking about the chip, and I helped him remove his. Not long after, Commander Wolf contacted me as well. I've been talking with him since the orders went out, and he's going to meet me here. I'll take Gregor and the three of us will disappear for a while. Scout. Would you like to join us? I appreciate the offer, sir. But I'm going to go off on my own for a little while. I've got a lot to sort out. I understand, soldier. If you need anything, or if you ever want to join us, I'm only a com call away. Thank you, Captain. And take care of Gregor for me. Of course. May the Force be with you. May the Force be with you. <laughs>